Yo guys and welcome back. The Dodo stopping my intro. Yo hey guys and welcome back to another episode on Fjorder. And today we have a lot of stuff going on. But as you saw from the beginning, we have a little montage of building up. That's really dark. A little montage of building up because last episode I died, and so I kind of had to rebuild myself. So that's what I did. And I then recently found out that if you hold for at least PC, if you hold R, uh, you or I guess for consoles, it'd be whatever button you do to activate your tech helmet. But yeah, so you hold that button, and then you can teleport around. And I didn't know that was a thing until now. So anyway, so I teleported over here. This was, I think, uh, what was it? I think it was Bartoland South, uh, and then there's the Southeast teleport. So that's where this is. And it actually seems pretty good, because there's some metal nodes, rocks, fiber, wood, water, like all, all the pretty good stuff. So... I'm gonna set up a quick area right here, but uh, the main goal for today uh, is to hopefully- wow, my armor's almost gone, I need to repair that. Anyway, the main goal for today is to try and get a Fjordhawk, because I have been dying a crazy amount. <laughs> like, I have died so much on this map, so I really, really want to get a Fjordhawk so I can actually get my stuff back once I die. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Another good plan would be trying to get fur here, because I think fur is kind of necessary for this map, honestly. But uh, yeah, anyway. Also, as you can see, I've got a stone trap, uh, and that's just in case I can find a good creature to tame. Uh, I'd like to actually, well, you know, be able to do just that, tame it. Um, I also want to put the bed down, just in case, you know, in case anything happens. Alright, and as you can see, I do have, you know what, yeah, we'll just put it aside. I have S Plus on, which also allows me to put uh, structures on straight ground instead of needing a foundation. That's what that's about. I mostly just like to stick to foundations, at least early game. Makes it feel more like, you know, like a legitimate uh, run. Anyway, okay, so Fjordhawks, if I remember correctly, they basically they have a few spawn points in on this island. I looked it up just because otherwise I'd be here forever. So yeah, they've got a few few different spawn points on this area, so this is where we're going to be trying to check out uh, today. So, yeah, let's jump into this, shall we? Okay. So, we're going to try to hunt down the Fjordhawk, and I'm probably going to be jumping around, I'll probably just cut, like, once I actually at least get up there, and we'll hunt for a bit. Um, but, uh, if you guys haven't seen the last two videos, because I know I start off videos like this, so I thought I'd just mention it. If you guys haven't really watched the first few videos that far, the, like, about, I don't know exactly when, depends on the video, but I've started doing it, so, like, after a bit, I started doing 100 Days style editing, just to make it a bit more interesting, you know? So, this, that's gonna be, like, a regular for now, just thought I'd try it out, try the editing style, see if it's worth the effort and all. So, we're gonna be trying that, see what you all think, um, but, yeah, if you didn't even know it was happening, I'm letting you know now that it is, so... Probably is gonna start once the once I can actually find a fjord hawk to tame. So I'll do like a little montage of that, and then we'll just continue the episode doing whatever. And uh, yeah, well, I'd say I actually find a fjord hawk to tame. I might just die again. Anyway, I will meet you guys once I'm up there and have a fjord, or at least found something to tame. Maybe not a fjord hawk, but something. So yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. While traveling, I got a death message from my raptor. Oh no! Knowing this also meant wolves, I decided to go and tame the alpha. I set up the trap, then lured them in for quite some time. Ah! Ow. No. No. Oh gosh darn it, I just wanna... I'd rather lose- Yes, okay, at least I got the 145 in. And finally, I started drinking. Nice. All right. I then got some prime and tamed the wolf. After collecting some pelts, crafting some fur, cutting my hair, and getting some Viking skins, I found a 135 female wolf. 145 female, or 135 female, okay. Setting up the trap again, I got it in. I can actually lure them into the trap. Okay, there we go. Whoa! 
with a few complications. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. I killed the 145. Then knocked out the Phoenix. I found Denovus. Even better. Then I would have tamed the female and teleported back to base. I got them breeding and finally obtained oh, Banana yeah, Sprinkles. After some imprints, Banana Sprinkles was finally ready. So yeah. Alright, so anyway, this is our new wolf. Uh, we got pretty decent stats to work with. Yeah, it's amazing what imprints can actually do in the end. So we got... I'm probably going to get up to about 3.5k health, I would say. But yeah, this guy should help out a ton. Just in general, this is going to help get progression around the map and such. But uh, yeah, sadly, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything else today. I, was, I, I kind of expected as much. It's, yeah. Not exactly a small task trying to get some wolves imprinted and such, and or breeding and imprinted, and it took a lot longer than I thought it would. It took, yeah, it took a lot longer than I expected to get some really good stats, and then the first, like, perfect stats I got wasn't actually perfect stats, because it actually had a melee mutation on top of it, which was rather amusing, honestly. But yeah, so, this is Banana Sprinkles. I, I'm honestly pretty happy with him. He's pretty good. I rather enjoy him. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be trying to get him around, leveling him, all that jazz. And try to get some exploration done, see if maybe I can find some good areas around. Uh, and maybe see if I can figure out where Fjordhawks spawn. Because I want to be taming one sometime soon, but... Kind of need to know where they spawn to be able to tame one. So gonna be working on that, but, um, anyway, that was a piranha. Hi, piranha. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed another episode on Fjordr. Next time, we'll 100% be taming a Fjordhawk. <laughs> it's taken me long enough, and, like, I have, like, two, three videos now saying, yeah, I'm gonna tame a Fjordhawk. But the, the next episode, I actually am going to be taming a Fjordhawk. So, anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed and, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Farewell.